KPRC2 is your vaccine central, and tonight the CDC formally approved the use of Pfizer's COVID vaccine for children 5 to 11 years old. But the latest data shows a majority of parents aren't ready for their kids to get the shot. Health reporter Haley Hernandez has a closer look at what this could mean in the fight to end the pandemic. The Centers for Disease Control Advisory Panel approved emergency use of Pfizer's COVID vaccine for children 5 to 11 years old. Now parents will make the final call on whether their kid gets the shot. We'll be the first ones like, come on, let's go. And he's a champion to getting his vaccine. So 28 million children are now eligible for the vaccine. Distribution has already started and by Monday, 15 million doses will be available nationwide. Today, Texas Children's Hospital received its first shipment of the vaccine, saying they will begin giving shots tomorrow morning. Children will get one third the amount of medicine given to adults in two shots three weeks apart, which means kids could be fully vaccinated by Christmas. But for many families, a jab isn't in their holiday plans. I'm not giving that vaccine to any of my children. In a survey by the Kaiser Family Foundation, 73% of parents say they will not vaccinate their children right away. Many pointing out children rarely get sick from the virus and questioning expedited testing protocols and potential side effects. A lot of pediatricians, though, are pushing back on that concern. We have the best scientists in the country who are reviewing this data, who are reviewing it independently. Uh, and, and if all goes the way that we expect it, will show us that the benefit of vaccination outweighs the risk. And health officials stress the vaccine provides a key weapon in the fight to ultimately end the pandemic. If you want to schedule a vaccine for your child, we've posted a link to Texas Children's Hospital on our website, click2houston.com. They have already begun scheduling for those appointments. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.